Hi guys, Mandy here, and I have Ren. She's going to snuggle with me while I chat with you guys today. Um, it is Thursday. <laughs> I keep thinking it's Friday, and I keep getting really excited because Saturday is uh, my stepsister's wedding, but it is actually Thursday, which is good because I still have a lot to do. <laughs> um, but uh, super excited. We went to Toronto last night, and we went to see Matilda, and oh my gosh, it was amazing. I had so much fun. Uh, it was uh, myself and my mom my stepmom, <laughs> good times, and uh, my sisters, and my stepsisters, and then their grandma came, and uh, a friend, and a friend, and it was just a blast. Uh, not ev not everybody came to the show with us, but we had, we went out to dinner, we went to Baton Rouge, and I had never been there, even though my sister's uh, husband worked there for some time. I'd never been there before, and it was really good. I got a veggie sandwich, because I'm a vegetarian, and it is a steakhouse. <laughs> But uh, I had this really yummy roasted uh, vegetable sandwich with um, goat's cheese. Mmm, so good. And uh, my sister and I shared a chocolate peanut butter cheesecake and it was so good. And then we gabbed and talked about old times and it was really fun. And then we went to um, the show and I haven't been to the theater since I was in grade 10, I think, was the last time I've seen a show. I saw um, The Lion King, and it was amazing, and we had orchestra seats, and we were right there, and when the, if anybody has seen The Lion King, it's amazing, the costumes, and just amazing, and they actually walk through the aisles, and I was like, tearing up. It was so beautiful and wonderful. And uh, so it's been a long time since I've been to the theater and it was amazing. I loved Matilda so much. It was so good. Uh, I grew up watching that movie like a million times. We There were six kids, like my extended family. Um, so my dad remarried and uh, his wife, my stepmom, um, there, she has three, uh, we, I have two sisters, so there's three, and we were all the same ages. How crazy is that? Everybody used to call us the Brady Bunch, um, when we'd go out anywhere. But we never had cable <laughs> at my dad's house, so we always had movies, and Matilda was one that we watched over and over again. And I can tell you that these kids in this, I know, Kimberly, you would have loved it. Like, the kids were amazing. Um, the little girl who played M Matilda was phenomenal. Like, she was so tiny and, oh, so spunky, and I just loved it. Um, it actually, um, uh, Miss Trenchable was played by a man, and it was hilarious, and he was awesome. And it, they followed, it was like, have you ever read a book? <clears throat> it was just like, because I don't know, I think Matilda might be a book, actually. I'll have to look into that. Kimberly's probably like, yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> she would know. Um, but, um, so I don't know how different the movie was. Like, if Matilda was originally a book, I don't know how different the movie was. All I know is of the movie. So the theater play was a little different. Um, she, her powers, uh, weren't as, like, crazy, and they only came into play at the end. And the story, you know how, if you've seen the movie, this is a spoiler alert, but, um, if you don't want to know about the play, then don't watch. <laughs> but you know in the movie, um, Miss Trenchable and Miss Honey are related, and they are still related, and they still are aunt and, and niece, um, but it's a different relationship. It wasn't, it was a crazy cool story that Matilda told that actually was true about circus performers. Um, oh my god, it was amazing. Uh, the mother was and the mother and the father were circus performers, and I won't tell you anymore, but it was just so cool, and they did a phenomenal job, and I loved it, and we had a blast, and it was so much fun, and coming home <laughs> at midnight, because <laughs> we were in the city, I realized how old I was this morning, waking up to my kids, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> do I have to do a school routine, and Jordan hadn't emptied their lunch pails or anything, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna kill you, um, but uh, we got through. <laughs> got them to school in it and uh, then I went to the mall. I should have had a nap <laughs> but I went to the mall and <clears throat> went shopping yay 
I didn't get a ton of stuff, um, but I wanted to show you the cutest thing I got for my new baby. I got her an outfit, I guess a coming home outfit you can call it. And if you see the prices on anything, I paid full price for everything, so I never do that. <laughs> but I just wanted to have a special outfit for her. So these are the socks, the two pack of socks, really cute. Um, I never do that, but I just saw this outfit and thought it was adorable. These are the pants, excuse me. They're so pretty with flowers, and I loved this shirt. This was in the boy section, but I couldn't, <clears throat> I had to have it. It's so cute, and I thought that, that pastel-y blue, periwinkle blue with those flowered pants will just look too adorable, and I haven't even <laughs> put a deposit on or, or anything, but she's got a coming home outfit, so she's good, because I don't have anything in that size. Um, she's going to be a bigger baby, three to six months, so I got to start keeping my eye open, and next time it'll be deals, but I just had to have that. It was so cute, and I thought, if I wait, it was from Gap, and some, and every time, you know, I've said this before, when I wait for something to go on sale on Gap, I never get it in the size I want, so sometimes you gotta spend a little more. But, uh, yeah, so I had so much fun, and I can't wait for the wedding. It's gonna be crazy. Um, <laughs> my stepsister and I, um, we were the only one, I don't know, I know a few of us were drinking, but she was like, hey, what are you gonna get? And I was like, what are you gonna get? And she's like, I'm gonna get this sangria. Um, it was like this fruity sangria. And she's like, but if you want to get that too, let's get it in a pitcher. So her and I were just having a great time. <laughs> My sister Cassie is like, I don't think you should drink anymore. I was like, excuse me, mother. <laughs> I'm good. Um, I never drink, and so my family knows that, like, one drink, and I'm like, hey. Not that I'm promoting drinking, but <laughs> that's just, I'm 30, so I'm allowed to talk about that. I wanted to tell you about the book I'm reading now that I finished, um, uh, we're all in this together, um, which I love that so many of you have said that you uh, thought the book sounded good and, and you're going to get it too. Like, that's so, that's so fun. I love uh, giving um, book ideas to people because I, it used to be my mom, but she's in a, she's having a book slump like I was last year. And so now I can't <laughs> give good book reviews. But I'm reading Boo right now, and it's actually... Um, Neil Smith, I was hoping I'd be able to pronounce his name, you know, sometimes you're not sure of somebody's last name, but Smith. Um, he is actually a Canadian author as well. I think he said he was born in the United States. Well, it doesn't say, it just said he grew up in the United States in Canada and now lives in Montreal. So I just thought that was super cool that I randomly, because I totally just go into chapters or Coles, same thing, um, and look at books and just see what's speaks to me and I thought, well, that's interesting. Um, and when I read the back, I was like, hey, Canadian, again, two in a row. That's awesome. This book is actually really good. Um, I am halfway through and I hope to get, it's a, it's a little book, but again, like I have a hard time finding time to read. I should be reading now and I'm making a video. I'm not prioritizing very well. Um, <laughs> but uh, I want to finish it uh, maybe over the weekend. It is a really good book, but it was kind of hard for me to get into. The first uh, couple of chapters, which are really short, it's one of those like two, three page kind of thing, but it flows together. It's not like it stops, starts, stop, starts. Um, but uh, it is uh, a boy who dies and goes to heaven. And I had to remind myself that this is a novel and not, uh, um, you know, like someone's true events. This is not what he's trying to say because his idea, the author's idea of heaven is a lot different than what I'm sure a lot of people think. Um, this is a 13 year old boy who died suddenly and now he's in heaven. He wakes up and he's in like <clears throat> a bed and he's naked and there's another 13 year old there. She's a girl who is 13 too because you find out that, um, in heaven you go it's like segregated and 13 year olds go to 13 year old heaven and you're 13 years old for 50 years um 
13, 13, 13, and then one day they just disappear. They, they don't know what happens. But the longer you've been there, the more mature you get. So this woman has, or, oh, well, she's 13, but she's been there for a long time. Um, so, you know, she's a little more mature. She's like the mama. And she says to him, you know, you've passed and and you know here's your clothes this is where you're gonna live they live like in school dorms kind of thing it's so weird um but uh yo you just gotta want to know more so they like he doesn't understand he's a very smart his name is Oliver and he's a very smart boy um and he has to have reasons for everything so he's like why are we here why would God and they don't call him God they call him Zig because they don't think a God would be this weird um so they call him Zig and they're like why would Zig put us in like a situation like this where we're 13 until we're 50 and then we die um and we get like weird food they're vegetarians because nothing's dead there and uh like the plumbing sucks <laughs> and everything it's just so weird you just want to know more and more and then one day um he sees a friend from school and he's like hey you died too and he's like yeah duh we were shot he had no idea because Oliver was shot in the back of the head so he had no idea he had he thought he had a heart problem and died so it's so crazy so now he knows that they were both shot and they believe um his friend believes that the killer is in this heaven too and he would like to find him and find out like they want him to be punished. Anyways, super good book. My battery is telling me to stop talking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a good read and I'll have to let you know how, it, how I like it when it's over. Anyways, talk to you again soon. Happy Thursday. Bye guys.